Hey, so now on my bike today, uh, I'm looking for a place where I want to do some nocturnal painting tonight. Uh, I really like doing nocturnals. They're uh, very challenging, and the uh, and the values are so close together, but it's really fun. Um, anyway, so I'm going to cruise around town, and I'm going to see what I can find, and uh, hopefully I find a good spot we can set up tonight, and I'll uh, video that, and it'll be cool. All right. So the first spot I found that might be uh, might be interesting is uh, these. Uh, I like these mail trucks and that parking lot light that's just above that last one that's in the shade there. That might actually cast some pretty decent light uh, to make some uh, interesting shapes. So that's a possibility. Okay, another spot I found is I really like this bridge here. Um, the way it crosses the river. Not sure about, uh, I mean, there are a couple of lights up here that look like they're metal halide. They might cast some interesting color on it, but uh, there's one like there, and you can see one kind of on the other side of the bridge there. Um, so I'm gonna say this is definitely a possibility. So we'll cruise by here tonight too and see if this one works. All right, I'll keep cruising around. All right, so I'm checking out the fire station over here and uh, there are some uh, city lamps, street lamps that are right in front of it here and as well. Um, you can see, uh, even though there aren't any like real serious lights, like parking lot lights or anything like that that might put a lot of light on the building, there might be just enough uh, uh, reflected light off the white fire station with these lamps kind of in the foreground, this might actually create uh, something interesting as well as the gas pumps over there might actually be kicking off some uh, some light if they have those on at night. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put this one on the list and we'll, we'll check it out. All right, I found another spot I really like um, that has some possibilities. And uh, sorry, that was a spider web. Um, <clears throat> the uh, restaurant across the street has some uh, some lights that are on the on the edge of their building. If those are burning tonight, this could be interesting. As well as I like the the uh, yellow awning, which I believe is backlit. Um, and also you have another one of those city lamps there. So I'm going to put this one on the list too and uh, swing by here. And I think that's pretty good options for tonight. So I'll check those locations, make a choice, and. Um, get something going. Alright, so I went with the uh, the Mexican restaurant um, scene tonight and um, I think it's got the best the best lighting combination. So I'll give you a, a view of that. So that's what I'll be working on. And then also I thought I would show you, uh, this is my nocturnal setup. Um, I have uh, these Rayovac uh, lights that I like a lot and uh, um, the batteries are easy to replace and the cool thing about this uh, setup is I just work with one on the uh, on my palette and I work with one on the canvas and that's what I go with and I tried uh, tried the headlamp but I really don't like that because it actually casts light in the direction that I'm looking I'd prefer to look uh, keep what I'm looking at the same um, and when I look out into the distance with the headlamp, it actually puts some additional light on it. So I try and keep that as it is. So I'll get, uh, I'll get cranking here and, um, get a sketch going and see if we can't, uh, knock out some color really fast. So, all right, we'll get at it.
to the uh, the lights uh, went off uh, over here, and I actually like it better with the with the lights off. I think it's going to make this uh, it's going to make this awning stand out a whole lot better. So um, uh, now I've kind of got the basics in here, so um, I can kind of see what I really uh, want to draw attention to, which is really the corner of this awning. Obviously, the light. Um, some of these other details are just really not even that necessary, but I'll uh, I'll keep rolling on this. I'll get this area here uh, defined and and um, get those values darkened up, kind of sharpen up where the light's hitting some of the glass on the corner, and then uh, uh, work on uh, uh, some more of the lights and uh, kind of how they're casting uh, uh, some glow to the sidewalk here, which actually kind of a gray violet color now so um, anyway off we go All right, so this is uh, this is what I've got uh, finished up here, and um, anytime I paint nocturnal, it always like the next day you really have to kind of evaluate the values and make a, a few adjustments, which is pretty normal. But um, in general, um, uh, I think I can work with this one. I like uh, I like what I've done with it, and hopefully, uh, I don't see it in daylight and uh, it's a total wreck which sometimes is actually the case so uh, anyway I um, hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll uh, catch you later